And so it begins. Hello guys, my name is Buddy and welcome back to TW 2013 with Mid-Atlantic Wrestling. This is February, this is the wrestling classic and Hollywood Bret Star, what are you doing? Hollywood Bret Star failed to show up for a scheduled meeting with a road agent as his employer you now have to choose how to deal with the situation. How old is you? He's 22. Fatherly approach for now. Understood. Okay, Brett. Okay. You've taken the backstage rating down by three points. And you have some minor morale issues. Which means I'm going to have to give you some time off. I can't. She's going to have to give you a bonus. Can't afford to give you a bonus. God damn it, Brett. Ah, such a bad influence backstage. Alright, so Brett Starr is going to continue his shitty rivalry with Findlay O'Faraday today. Um, we set up Cameron Vesey versus Finley O'Faraday. We're also going to put Brett in there. Actually, we're not. No, we're not. Who are we going to have today against Findlay? In our semi-main event. Findlay O'Faraday needs to take on a heel. Ooh, I know the perfect one. Who is slightly better than uh, than Brett Starr. 16 minutes for these two? It's uh, probably fine. See, right, so the Ripcord Invitational. This is going to be kind of a workaround from last time. So, Findlay over, open, called, slow build, decisive. There you go. That'll be our semi-main event. Our main event tonight is going to be... I don't want to do a rematch uh, from last time, although that match was good enough to justify a rematch. <laughs> these are the guys we can do. Oh, that's right, one second. We haven't actually assigned Steve Flash a place on the roster yet. Auto-push, auto-push everyone. It's good with me. Um, there we go. So it's obviously going to be Cameron Vesey. Uh, are we going to do a title match is the question. So we could, Findlay's already booked. Steve Flash, Mikey James, Frankie Perez. Both Frankie Perez and Mikey James could put on a barnstormer with, with Cameron Vesey. But we don't really have too much of a story to it, whereas with Steve Flash we kind of do. Sure. Rematch, 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 rematch. Rematch is fine with me. 16 minutes. Cameron Vesey over. Open. Called. Slow build. Decisive. And it should do slightly better than last time. Because. Uh, oh, look at that. They were in a match on, in, in New York too. And ours was clearly better. Because Cameron improved slightly from, from their match. So there's our main events. We need to kind of set up Findlay versus Matthew. Uh, and I think we have the perfect way of doing it. So. Hype, not entertainment. Menace. We will do a self-promotion menace with Findlay, the big bad man. Is how's he doing now? He's doing alright actually. Yeah, that's not, not dreadful gains. Um, yeah, he should be doing he should be doing a good promo. Findlay or Faraday self-promotion to start the show. Then we'll do a challenge if we have one. We do call out challenge accepted. <laughs> Findlay rated on entertainment. Uh, Matthew and Findlay. There you go. So basically, Findlay comes out and says, Boo! Ah, yay! I'm the I'm the Ripcord Invitational Champion. Nobody can beat me. And then Matthew says, Put your championship on the line later. And then Findlay says, Fine, I'll do it. Even though it's not usually a championship you'd put on the line still. Uh, we're going to do it like that because Findlay hasn't actually won the championship yet because of my mistakes. So, we want to do a uh, tag team championship match? Hmm. I think so. I think that's a good idea. Uh, whether, do we want to take the belts off of the Dynamite Express already? I feel like, I kind of feel like bad for them because they are going to get lost in the shuffle if I do so. They aren't that bad. We could l seriously lose the College Argons momentum if... We we have them lose this though. Holy shit, they're over. <laughs> Holy shit, they're over. Okay. Sure. This is probably going to be one of the better matches on the card. And we'll have Frankie Perez beating Cameron Jones. Open. Oh, no, wait. We want the Aces of Mayhem to go over. Uh, yeah, keep calling them that. We want Dynamite Express to be going over, don't we? Because we want to build them up a little bit. Uh, call it. All out. And decisive. And are they going to be furious? Of course they are. Of course they are. 
Fine, you can win the tag titles. It's gonna happen one day, wasn't it? Um, put the tag titles on the line, sure. There we go. And then our other match tonight, because we probably only have time for one more, will be Hollywood versus a babyface. Holy shit, there aren't that many of them. Ace Youngblood. No, Citizen X is a better idea. Citizen X. Ten minutes. Put the American Championship on the line. Hollywood over. Open. Scripted. Eh. Open. Called. Decisive. There you go. Because there's barely anyone on this card, we will chuck in a battle royal. 15 man on the post show, where it doesn't matter with all these random ass people. And we can take, what's his name, Robbie out of there because he's the commentator so he's automatically booked. We'll make it a 15 man battle royal, 10 minutes on the post show, doesn't really matter who goes over. Uh, I hate to do that because there's a couple of people in there who have yet to debut. So their momentum is going to be affected by this, but oh well. Not a big deal. That sounds good to me. This isn't the best show in the world, but the main event should carry it. Yep. Let's actually put this... Nah, let's just run it. Let's just run it. Boom. Good promo. This is going to do slightly worse. Yep, yeah, that's alright, actually. That's alright. And then into the first match of the night. That's not bad at all for these guys. That's not bad at all. Okay, Sid Collier should not be called in the ring. Neither should Cameron Jones. This was good for what it was. This was really good. And the next match should be even better. Yes! Wow. Findlay of Faraday, man. Like, I know that's all Matthew Keith, but still. Good lord. Good lord. That's a really good match from him. That's, that's probably going to hurt the main. Yeah, that hurt the main. Wow. Shit. Ha. Huh. Wow. No, that's not too bad, though. That's, the show's still going to get a C-ish. Oh, I forgot about the Battle Royale. <laughs> uh, Nigel Svensson has got a terrible gimmick. Uh-oh. That's going to put a serious halt on his push. And a C. Yay, that's a really good show. That is, that is a surprising match. Findlay's ready, man. <laughs> Findlay's ready for that main event push. For that, like, ever-so-slight main event push. Okay. Alright, good stuff. Findlay. Give some, hey, point out as a good example. Matt, Matthew Keith, you're, you're going to be told you're awesome. Because you're amazing. Your push is coming, my friend. And Steve Flash told they can do better. Okay. Um, one thing to note, one half of the Ring Generals quit the New York promotion in between episodes. He just decided to just quit. Uh, I think the other half of the Ring Generals is still out there wrestling for them, but... Yep, we have one of the Ring Generals uh, causing some mutiny over there. Alright, let's check where Cameron Vesey is on the Overness scale. Because he should have gone up even further after that match. Oh, not really. Went up by two points, that's okay. What about Findlay, though? Findlay should be soups over. Again, not slight improvement from Findlay, that's fine, though. Uh, yeah, and Finley obviously won the Ripcord Invitational Challenge. Good. <laughs> Held in February this year, just to ignore that. Uh, move it back to January for next year. And it's 82 prestige, and now we upped the prestige of the belt, which is, uh, of the title, which is good. We've also upped the prestige of this belt, but that's gonna, that's just gonna happen. <laughs> right, so, so, I told you Findlay was going to be going after the title, and I am sticking to that. The only... Oh, wait, was the... Oh, that match against Steve Flash at uh, Wrestling Classic was actually better than the match at uh, Ripcord Invitational, so absolutely fine. No problem at all with that. Um, Yeah, Findlay was the champion for two years prior to Cameron winning the belt, so when I say he's going after the title, I mean he's just going after the title. He's not going to be winning it, don't worry. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Marv Stadler is neutral. Oh, because he won the Battle Royal. Okay. 
That's that's okay. That's cool. It's fine. Anything else I need to show? Oh yeah, we probably went up in popularity again. Yeah, we did. Um, we're probably gonna end up making a slight profit, although maybe not, considering Steve. Uh, sorry, um, Steve. Yeah, Steve Flash costs two hundred two thousand uh, dollars an appearance. Got ring generals. Uh, just to show off some of the tag teams. The Kali Dragons have pretty low experience, all things considered. Um, it's only going to improve by uh, having them fight. The, every match gets one experience for tag teams. Where are they? So yeah, there they are. They're the tag team champions. They're go only going to improve those belts prestige. Um, <laughs> it wasn't a long title reign for <laughs> for the Dynamite Express. But oh well. <laughs> the Kali Dragons are probably going to be champions for a while. Same with these two belts. Um, not sure how how often Brett Starr is going to defend, uh, defend that, though. Maybe we'll have... Um, I don't know. Maybe Casey Glenn should go after Brett Starr next. Those, those two have a really good rivalry on previous show, um, saves I've run. He's kind of over, but not quite yet. Just look at these overness stats. Oh, I thought that was Alicia Strong, then. Oof. Don't tempt. <laughs> don't tempt my beating heart. Good God, that would have been something special if we had somehow accidentally signed Alicia Strong. How's Robbie doing on commentary? Eh, he's doing alright. Oh, I, f I keep forgetting to use Sam Keith in... Oh, because he's a road agent, he probably can't be used in... Uh, in store in... We should probably go get old road agent so that we can use Sam Keith as an authority figure, because Sam Keith is ridiculous. Although he does have, um... Fantastic psychology, which is probably why we're using him as a... A road agent, so you want to look for workers to hire, so that it only shows you people you can possibly hire. Uh, active in USA as well, you want to do that. Can work in, well, <laughs> depending on what promotion you're running. And he's got one, a uh, mod's too small for him. He's willing to listen to offers from MAW, and he's got 90 psychology. So, we want to use you as a road agent, is that fine? Yep. Four years, working very expensively, but you're, it's worth it. It's worth it to get a good uh, road agent. And then we can, once he arrives in, we can switch uh, Matthew, uh, Sam Keith to do something else. Which is cool. He can have him manage his, his son. That'd be cool. Turn him heel. He's, he's been healed before. He's not a bad heel at all. There he is. Yeah. He's got some good psychology. And I know these don't look like fantastic stats, but that's what really you need to look at. He's probably going to be pulling C's. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Check out the rest of the ch uh, the series, and I will speak to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.